I was thinking about this verse the other day, and uh, it's not a verse that maybe gets a whole lot of attention, and uh, it kind of kind of brings up some questions of why Jesus would say this or why he would do it this way. And so it got me thinking. So I, I want to read to you Luke chapter uh, 22, verses 31 to 34. The Lord said, Simon, Simon, indeed Satan has asked for you that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail, and when you have returned to me, strengthen your brethren. Peter boasts, Lord, I'm ready to go with you both to prison and to death. And he said, I tell you, Peter, the rooster shall not crow this day before you deny me three times that you know me. As I was pondering this verse and, and all that goes with it, you think about Peter's failure here because I, I couldn't think of a greater failure. I mean, he denied Christ three times and, and a few of the times were to servant girls and and if you read some of the other accounts, he actually cusses them out. So it, it seems like Peter's fallen pretty far. In just a very short period of time, he went from being right with Jesus to cussing out servant girls. When Jesus is talking with him, he says, I, I've prayed for you that when you return, strengthen the brethren. He didn't pray that Satan would leave him alone. He didn't pray that everything would just be rainbows and puppies and every day would be perfect for him. He prayed that when you return to me, Jesus wasn't confident in what Peter could do. He wasn't confident in Peter's strength. Now, Peter surely was confident in his own strength. He says, Lord, I'm ready to go with you both to, to, to prison and to death. I mean, he, in his own might, thought, surely I can muscle through this. Surely I can tough it out. Jesus, I'm ready to do whatever you need me to do. Jesus knew otherwise, but he also knew the end. And that's the amazing part of the story that we have with Christ. I'm so thankful for that shed blood of Jesus Christ that knows the difference of your start to your end and all the in-betweens and meeting you all throughout the way. Jesus was never confident in what Peter could do. He was never confident in Peter's resolve. He was confident in himself. And it's so important for us to remind ourselves that you didn't choose Christ. He chose you. You responded to that call. But that first call to love and to attention, to affection, that was him reaching out to you saying, come unto me, you who are weary and heavy laden, I'll give you rest. He was offering you something, and he still is to this day. And I think that's so amazing, and I'm so thankful for that. So if I want to leave you with a message today, my message that I want to leave you with today is don't spend time trying to be something you're not. Our relationship with Christ is about trying to discover who we were created to be. Peter really felt like he had the strength and determination, but he had to go through this difficult process to learn something. I know as I was preparing this, I was thinking about people that are watching this that have been going through difficult situations and, and difficult circumstances. And, and you've even questioned, how did I get to this spot? Why is this befalling me? And I want you to understand that Jesus Christ, the author and the finish of our faith, he's taking us through various trials and tribulations to perfect us, to complete us, that we could be the greatest reflection of him, that we could be emissaries for this kingdom. Because as this finishes, he says, now when you've returned to me, Strengthen the brethren. The end game here isn't so that we can be strengthened and feel good in our resolve and our determination, but it's so that we can take this strength and, and we can give it to other people. So yes, if you're watching today, you've probably made some mistakes. I'm sure there's even a few of you that are watching today that thought, man, I just need to sit out on the bench. I don't really have a role in this anymore. I want you to hear this voice from Christ himself saying, when you've returned to me, get back in the game. Get off the bench and give your gifts, give your talents, give the very things that I've given to you. The world has need of you. It's time for us to get out there and share this message of hope. And if you've been through a difficult situation, don't give up now. Jesus is right there with you.